Not gonna lie, I wanted to make this list after being chomped half to death by a mimic in Dark Souls, so there's that. I'll get to the horrific, infuriating, made me go back 40 minutes thing in good time, but for now I'm Scott from WhatCulture.com and these are 9 trick video game items you must avoid. Number 9. Secret Bombs in Your Inventory Metal Gear Solid Of all the game developers who've ever messed with us as players, Hideo Kojima might be the king. His titles are filled with fourth wall breaks, characters totally breaking tone, secret gameplay tricks included to make you laugh, and everything in between. One that'll actually result in Snake exploding if you don't realise though, is character Revolver Ocelot planting a secret bomb amongst your things during a torture segment. Once you're through this section and back to regular gameplay, it's super easy to not notice there's a timer counting down above a new question mark item in your inventory. Thankfully, you'll have half an hour in full to realise, with characters Deep Throat and Colonel Campbell eventually pointing it out. What's more likely to kill you then is another time bomb you can accidentally pick up while swimming around Metal Gear Rex looking for a keycard later in the game. This one detonates after 30 seconds and doesn't have any character dialogue pointing out that you've scooped it up. Number 8. That's not a Pokeball. Pokemon Red and Blue Maybe it's the increasingly old man in me, but the original Pokemon run was something else. A pure escapist energy that Nintendo have seldom captured in full again, apart from the mad scramble that was Pokemon Go's first few months. Regardless, that literal gotta catch em all feeling extended across the original TV series and into the games, where if you were playing red or blue and headed to the power plant, everything from Magnemites to Machops, Poliwags to Kinglers was there to be battled and hoovered up. One devilish surprise though, and essentially an in-game comment on how much the Pokemon looked like a Pokeball anyway, were trick Pokeball items that were actually Voltorbs minding their own business. Interact and you're immediately put into a fight, potentially netting you one of the elusive 151, or it being one duel too many for an already challenging area. Number 7. Pieces of Wood. Don't starve. Survival games and survival mechanics are a dime a dozen these days, seeing everything from dedicated genre hits like Minecraft and Valheim to the likes of Fallout 4 getting an insanely overlooked survival difficulty add-on. Back in the early 2010s though, the genre was finding its footing, and the immaculate Don't Starve helped lead the charge. Now, because this was coming from Shank and Mark of the Ninja developers Clay Entertainment, you might have wrongly assumed you can hack the living daylight out of the environment and get as many resources as possible. While an intricate series of timers keeps you on a thoroughly rewarding progression loop, cut down one too many evergreen trees in quick succession and you'll spawn a tree guard, a ludicrously tough boss creature now coming for your soul because you downed too many of its friends. The brilliance with this trap being sprung is that you won't know until it's too late, but all the same can you resist felling one more tree to just make sure you make it through the night. Number 6. Any loot from these corpses. Dark Souls 3. Okay, this, this might be the creepiest enemy ever put to code. The sort of hellish nightmare that could only come from a studio trying to put you in a headspace of sheer anxiety and what the hell's gonna happen next terror. The sewer centipedes in Dark Souls 3's Irithyll area are arachnophobia and a fear of insects in general incarnate. Again, in truly oh dear god territory, these things lie upside down in bodies of water, surrounded by corpses, looking like regular bodies simply floating there waiting for a player like yourself to approach and see what goodies might lie within. Get close though and what emerges is a giant tarantula looking face hugger thing that proceeds to fill the screen leaping at you. Yes, these demonic bone spiders jump, and although it's creepy enough looking at them now, for first timers discovering these while journeying through the game, the reaction is always pure white knuckle terror. I was literally sat shivering for a good 20 minutes. Number 5. Poison Mushrooms Super Mario Bros. The Lost Levels Yes, the Mario game initially deemed too hard for the West, that in itself has become an enigma releasing in various altered forms across the last few decades, including one called Mario Bros. for Super Players, had a trick item built to kill you. A summonable embodiment of trust issues, the poison mushroom in Mario Bros. 2 is only barely distinguishable from the original thanks to a slightly darker palette. And with this sequel having a completely different look, of course you try to pick it up like usual. Instead though, these now called poison mushrooms kill you in one hit. No ifs, no knockback animations or anything else, just instant death if you're not in the larger Mario form. The guess I'll die meme? It was made for scenarios like this. Number 4. Mackerel. Near or tomato. Mackerel's just a humble fish, don't worry about it, just a humble fish, what could go wrong? Well, turns out this everyday acquired just because you fancy taking someone up on a bet one-off item can destroy you and everything you care about. Why? Because Yoko Taro, that's why. 
The genius game dev who crafted one of the finest efforts of 2017 and the 8th generation overall also included a character called Jackass, giving you a mackerel and saying he heard it has a horrible effect on androids. Turns out devouring this tasty fish immediately kills your character. 2B does remark that the taste of mackerel was almost worth dying for, but you'll then be greeted by credits, having unlocked the K ending and be booted back to your last save. While it's all fun and games, Nier Automata does not have an autosave, so if you timed this wrong and were hours into a session, that's actually a horrible thing to realise. Number 3. Soul Edge Soul Calibur 2 Namco's other fighting series has always played second fiddle to the almighty Tekken, but Soul Edge and now Soul Calibur features a supremely lovable set of characters and game mechanics everyone should try. That is, unless you're trying to equip the Soul Edge weapon itself. A mythical blade at the heart of all struggle and competition across the franchise, Soul Calibur 2 let all characters unlock and equip it. The catch? Well, true to its form as a blade of pure evil intent, Soul Edge can grant you massive increases in power, but it'll sap away your life in the process. In many ways, it makes for a fun trade-off, especially for seasoned players, but with Soul Calibur gameplay being based on positioning and frame data to gain the upper hand, you never want to lose while considering your next move just because you equip the wrong weapon. Number 2. The Fear's Camouflage Metal Gear Solid 3 Snake Eater Go back to Metal Gear Solid 3 today and it's kind of the point where Hideo Kojima truly stopped caring. Yes, Metal Gear Solid 2 had water walking vampires and backflipping mechs, but Metal Gear Solid 3 just hits you with a man made of hornets, another who can dislocate his entire skeleton, one who can photosynthesize, and another who's literally a flying fire demon. Back to the flailing limbs of the fear though, as during the fight if you get tagged with his custom spider venom arrows, you'll lose stamina faster than the regular rate. This might propel you to take him down in as lethal a manner as possible, but knock him out instead and you'll get the spider camouflage. Offering one of the best camouflage indexes in the game across all types of terrain, the trick and lasting lol fu of the fear is that wearing this camouflage replicates the stamina depletion of his arrowheads. It's super easy to miss, and as running out of stamina means burning through your allotment of snacks, or being kicked back to jail if you pass out during the next fight against the end, it's best to avoid this altogether. And number 1. Mimics Dark Souls the first time you encounter a mimic in Dark Souls, it'll stay with you. Not for the immediate shock of what the hell's happening, this isn't the chest opening sequence, but just for how much from software animated what follows. Mimics in Dark Souls are infinitely more brutal, gory, and terrifying than any other version of a mimic in any other game. Their teeth are like javelins, gobbling up half your character's body in one go and proceeding to chomp your entire life bar in seconds. If you manage to get away immediately, the sheer size of these things with their gangly limbs and protruding tongue now sprinting after you is straight up nightmare fuel. Now, it is possible to survive a mimic if you have enough health, but unless you know what you're looking for, they were designed to surprise and kill you in any area not filled with enemies. From Software want people to be life scarred by Dark Souls mimics, and their tails are super hard to spot. For future reference, always look at the small chain on the side. If it's coiled, you're okay, but if it's straight, well, hit that thing with everything you've got. And those are just 9 trick video game items you must avoid, especially the mimics. Oh dear god, the Dark Souls mimics. Let me know your own favourites down in the comments below, and please check out the What Culture Gaming podcast. For now, I've been Scott from whatculture.com, and I'll catch you soon.